<laughs> new hair do this of course i bought another wig and i absolutely love this one like hopefully you heard that anyways because they're all crazy Hey guys, you already know what type of day it is. It's your girl Chelsea Afia. And today I am doing. I finally got it. I'm literally like the last person on earth to get the magic collection. Like, so I got the palette, of course. Sis, this palette is everything. As you can see on my eyes. And of course, I got the foundation concealer and loose setting powder so i reviewed tried out all of the products in this video and hopefully you guys enjoy and really hear my critique on it because let's just say your girl's looking snatched okay so yes if you want to see the full review on the juvia's place i am magic collection then keep on watching all right t yes all right so i already filled in my brows and applied my uh, p louise eyeshadow base in the shade room number four so the two palettes i'm going to be using today of course is the magic i got the mini version right er this is gonna be the list shade we gonna work with today hunty yes i can't wait i'm so excited that's the magic mini and then i also got the aphrodite palette which is like a nice colorful carnival it gives me caravana vibes so that's what we're going to be using today as well. The first shade I'm going to go with is this um, French name that I cannot pronounce. But, you know, if y'all can pronounce it, that's good for you. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm using my uh, K18 brush from Cara Beauty and placing the French um, blue, the, um, blue shade in like a circular patting motion and just placing it on my crease this is basically like our transition and then i'm just gradually building going up and blending because i want that um base our first color to be really pigmented and then on the on the crease part and then start flowing and blending gradually up i guess i i can't really explain it but this is what the everybody's been doing and it works so these eyeshadows are really easy to blend like i'm already done boom you don't want to go heavy handed as well when applying when blending on top, I'm using a clean brush to really make sure that part is nice and blended and sleek. Now jumping into the Magic Mini, I'm going to be using this shade called Ify. It's so freaking pretty. Like I definitely don't have this type of shade in my collection. It's like a deep navy blue type of purple shade. A like that's gonna be the second color we're gonna apply and I'm using like a t I'm busy hey and I'll be using a tapered um, crease brush to really uh, make sure that it is placed right at the socket of the crease and we're doing doing the patty motion as well um, so it could be really pigmented and then we'll blend. So to quickly um, add shadow to my brow bone, I'm using the shade Kessie 
from the Afrojik palette and also mixing it with I mean Kisi I always get messed up mix up that one's called Kisi and this one's called Kessi from the Magic Mini So this should be clean, but <laughs> yeah, you already know. I'm going to use a make away. You can also use a Q-tip and some micellar water. I'm just going to clean my lid area to prep cutting the crease so we can have a clean canvas when applying the lid shade. So I'm going to use um, the P. Louise eyeshadow base in rumor number zero the white shade to um cut the crease i like use whenever i'm doing dramatic looks like this i always use this if i'm cutting the crease um because it just really makes the color vibrant like dead ass so that's what we're gonna be doing just now Ian, tell mommy I'm filming. Go. Tell mommy I'm filming. Tell no. mommy I'm filming. No. Give then go. I'm coming. Go, go, go. Close the door. Close the door. Oh. No, listen. Close the door. All right, all right, all right. So I'm just going to go back to the blue shade from the Average Geek palette and um, apply that um, on my outer corner to the lid, blending that out. Literally, the white um, shadow base made this eyeshadow even more primitive and more vibrant. Like, I love it. And of course, I'm going to reapply Efi. <laughs> Hi. I'm going to reapply Efi just to bring the color back since we applied um, that French name shade. I'm dead about to write it on Google and see how you pronounce it because this is a abomination. I did, I literally took French when I was in grade four to, all the way to grade eight when I was in elementary school and I totally forgot. I didn't even need to take it in high school, so I was like, okay. So now I totally forgot how to speak the language. All I know is je m'appelle. Au revoir, merci, bonjour. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I have issues, <laughs> anyways. Yo, okay. So one more shade from the mini palette, Magic Mini. I'm gonna use the shade called uh, Yajadi. This one is literally deeper than Ify and it's more um, navy. So I wanna apply her like so right at the outer corner to count apart as like a black or whatever. So like. That's what we're gonna do, just very slightly. All right, all right, all right. So the lid shade, the lid shade. Oh my God. This is what made me buy the palette. And I literally, as soon as I bought it, I saw a picture and I was like, oh my God, I knew that it was meant to me for me to buy this palette. So I'm using the shade Fosu on my lid. Let me tell you. It's perfect. Hey! Oh, I love it so much. So much. Oh! Sis, come on. Let's, let's pull y'all close so you can see the beauty. Sis! My sis. Focus. 
sis. Don't sleep on Juvia's. Don't sleep on Juvia. Don't sleep on her. It's literally giving a perfect reflex of blue. Since it's like more on the purple side. And that's what's making this look right now. Like, dead ass. Oh my god, I love it. It's so freaking pretty. Like, do you see that blue? Do you see that blue shiny blue? This camera's not doing it justice at all. I'm telling you. It's not doing justice at all. Love it. Oh! Yeah, I got the ski. Got a little fallout, but literally I don't wipe it away. That's what makeup is for. <laughs> when we apply our makeup. <laughs> I'm gonna apply my lashes um, once my face is um, halfway or if almost done. But I'm just going to use my NYC liquid eyeliner and just do a little strip um, across my lash line. I'm not gonna do a wing because I made this eye shadow or like the. Yeah, the eyeshadow more of a circular rounded shape. I wasn't going for that wing cut, cut crease cut out shape. So that's that. Alright. There literally there's no first impressions or type of review for the eyeshadows. Let me actually move back because I'm way too far. There's no review or um First impressions on the eyeshadows. Why am I repeating myself? Go ahead, Um, it's li literally, it's, it's literally goals. Like I've already experienced with uh, Juvia's Place eyeshadows before, and I absolutely love them. Now I just have more in my collection and more different colors to play with. I love the formula of it, and this is what. Juvia's is all about is their eyeshadows because their eyeshadows are really bomb. I even feel like they changed the formula a little bit because these shadows are pigmy tea. Like, let me tell you, pigmy tea. Okay, okay. Right, all right, all right. Time for the face. Of course, that's what this video is all about. It's the magic collection review so i already applied my primer which i applied my becca backlight priming filter i usually always use my first light because i like that one better um i do like this one but only to a certain extent i can't put like too much or it will make my face like oily and i don't like how um shiny it give it um like reflex it gives or whatever so yeah so i have the foundation description on my phone and let's just start with of course the foundation i got the um i got the well it's the i am magic foundation no i'm sorry i am magic velvety matte foundation so it gives a velvety matte feel of course um let's just see what it says on the website okay okay so it says take a trip around the world with juvia's place in our brand new i am magic foundation formulas from sudan to marisol our 42 expert expertly formulated shades are globally inspired for long lasting all day wearability i am magic foundation <laughs> Um, it's like a commercial right now <laughs> was designed for all skin tones from the deepest dark to the fairest fair live your magic with juvia's place scroll down to uh, view all shade descriptions so the shade that i got was uh two two i'm, I'm trying to even go oh wait oh wait i got it, I got it. <laughs> so the shade that i got is uh 220 dark card I actually wanted to get to 10 Togo um, because it has, because um, Togo is 
is for deep dark skin with cool olive undertones and which that means a yellow undertone olive and yellow kind of part as each other but they were out of stock when i uh, was purchasing all the uh i am magic collection so i got dark heart which um dark heart is a deep is for deep uh, uh dark skin with warm undertones um so hopefully it works out right now i know it's my shade but like i said i just like that yellow undertone and my face that matches my face and my chest is literally a different shade as you can see people would think that like um my face is more of a red undertone but when you see the rest of my body it's yellow so that's why i always try to find a yellow undertone foundation to balance my chest and the rest of my body so well i can always make it work i always make it work like not all of my foundations are yellow um yellow undertone base okay okay <laughs> so yeah so let's just apply her on um yes 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 i'm just gonna apply it like a pump basically like so one thing I don't like about the packaging is, of course, it's small. And and this is for $20, okay? Uh, what I'm going to do with this size? And, of course, I don't like tube um, packaging f um, applicators f for foundations. Like, this dead ass looks like a primer. You get what I'm saying? You won't even think there's a foundation in it. So, yeah. I'm mixing it with my hand and baby girl thick when you like touch it it's like it has like a thick consistency I think that's enough so this shit thick <laughs> oh my god hold up I have no clean brushes so hopefully it doesn't like any previous access foundation don't mess up with this foundation but I'm using my uh, J1 Round Top Foundation Brush from Juvia's. I love these brushes. Sis. That's coverage. Wow. That's coverage. This shade is not bad at all, too. I actually really like this shade. I'm telling you, like, my skin tone, it's so freaking crazy when you first apply foundation. Like, look at this. <laughs> I look like a, a tomato. <laughs> but hopefully it oxidizes. That's all I care about. So once that baby oxidizes, I really like this foundation. Um, it's still looking a little crazy right now, but I love the, f the finish. It's really nice, actually. I actually really like it. You know what this foundation looks like? I'm gonna show you real quick. So yeah, it literally looks like this Elf um, flawless finish foundation. I actually try. Um, it was actually featured on my last video. It still it gives that velvety matte feel. It's the same consistency because once um, and it's the same color, same undertone as well. This one is in the shade chocolate. Um once when and i like how it's in a pump so and i think this was literally like 10 eight dollars depending on where you get it from so this is a definite dupe from this dead ass sis just watch my last video and you will see like you will see that's dead ass a dupe that's dead ass a freaking dupe like, if you don't want to spend um, $20 on a foundation, even though $20 is actually very reasonable, I'm not even going to hold you. I don't mind paying that much since I am a YouTuber, a beauty guru, and I would like to review the uh, latest and greatest uh, products, so I don't mind paying $20. Um before when i didn't have a job of course i'll be like mm, that's a little so that's why i always go towards the um drugstore foundations and all that stuff because it's in my budget but 
if it's if you want to splurge just a little bit especially if you're on a really 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 budget get this foundation if not get the elf one and um now elf is be more uh, exclusive with the shade so most likely you will find your shade in the elf foundation anyways <laughs> All right, so of course I had to get the concealer. So I got two. Um, I got the shade 10. Yeah, you can't even see it. So I got the shade 10 and I got the shade 13. 13 is lighter than 10. So the shades uh, go up from deepest, darkest to fairest. So the deep dark shade is number one and the um fairest shade is number 24 so they have 24 shades so yes yeah, so let's read the description right here um experience the new i am magic liquid concealer from juvia's place designed to give you a full range of weightless coverage across 24 uh, unique shades formulated with all skin types and skin and tones live your magic with juvia's place yes so like i said this is a j1 which is the the deepest darkest shade oh lord you can't really see it but you get the gist and then number 10 let's see oh it's so loud so i got j10 which is for deep deep uh which is for dark skin with cool olive undertones um and then also 13 is the same description which is just for tan to dark skin with cool olive undertones i just got the two just in case if i wanted because i wasn't like the i can't speak i'm going too fast when it comes to like purchasing like foundations or concealers online you kind of are a little skeptical on um like the colors because like the swatches or like how it looks online maybe look different once you get it from the mail so i thought this was way darker and this is shade 10 and this is shade 13 so i don't even think i need to use shade 13 that's the thing like it's 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 light you know what i'm saying <laughs> like number 10 is already light so i'm gonna swatch it real quick this is shade 13 and i would definitely use this shade like um oh my god i need to lower the mic bring this down there we go i will use um like shade 13 for like maybe eyeshadow base, a primer, um, or to cover up my brows to really get that lighted effect. And then this is shade 10, which I think we'll, we can work her out, so. Oh wow, coverage. This concealer reminds me of the Too Faced um, multi-sculpted concealer and also that tart shape tape one that i do not use anymore tart has been canceled for me yeah literally you don't even need a lot if you go od on this because you can already see the coverage when you apply it. like it's crazy so i'm gonna blend her out like so actually blend it up quick and it goes great like this foundation and as you can see the foundation you know oxidized and blended into our skin <laughs> i really love this color like it gives that perfect yellow undertone that i love and it balances with the dark heart shade like dead ass and also um the concealer is $14. Um, I think it's it's great for the price um, because concealer, especially how full coverage it is, you don't really need that much. Um, I still, I'm still, I, I'm still using my, they're literally, this one's a little bigger and this one's like 20 something dollars. So like I said, kind of worth the price. My um, Too Faced Born This Way and this thing is literally still there like i even need to get a new one but i'm holding on to this one because it's still there <laughs> so yeah so that's that i really like i'm just loving the products right now i'm not even gonna hold you i really 
when it comes to makeup for me sometimes like i just find that good product because i take my time to really evaluate with the product i can't really under explain it but like i really just take my time you know deciding if i really want it and mind you i haven't really watched videos of this this is i i dead didn't watch any reviews but i just knew that juvia's place has been rocking lately so like they can't just not mess up with this foundation it's a black owned brand like you cannot mess up a foundation if you're like a black owned brand is it a black owned brand but it's mostly made or catered or is it just catered to more of the dark of like the exclusivity or or um us um deep dark skin dark skin brown skin girls or whatever regardless it's all inclusive so like i feel like when it comes to like now they're stepping into the face products you just cannot mess up on it like maybe the formula won't work for everybody but like you will find a shade for you like dead ass so that's why i really love about you know these brands lately like dead ass all right so last but not least i got the juvia's place i am magic setting powder and i got and it's in the shade uh kalahari yes it is yellow yes yellow as you can see from the iconic i am magic collection from juvia's place comes comes our newest mold or breaking formula the new loose setting powders from juvia's place crafted with every beautiful shade of the shadow rainbow rainbow our i am magic setting powders come in five shades designed to extend the all-day wearability of every look from an everyday neutral feel to full-on fantasy glam so of course you can always build up like the coverage with the powder i guess um our setting powders can be used for setting foundation concealer and brightening so let's do that hunty and um of course kalahari is formulated for medium to tan skin tone so of course if you want to set your whole face if you are a medium to tan skin tone you can use uh kalahari they have all type of shades um from lightest to light to darkest to dark but i don't like to set uh, my face with a uh, loose powder i always set it with a pressed powder so that's why i got kahari because it will be great to brighten and set my concealer so let's apply her on this is really yellow this reminds me the color reminds me of Sasha Buttercup and I hate Sasha Buttercup because sis leaves a nasty residue of yellow up on your under eye. Uh, it seems like this is not doing that, which that is good. It gives that little brightness. Ooh, you see that? Wow. You see the difference? That's nice. I like that. So I'm going to use my uh, Sephora Micro Smooth to set my whole face. So you can really see the finished product before even the finished product. <laughs> so I just literally like swoop it first all over my face. And then use this brush to pat it. As soon as you set it, it just blends in. Which that's good. So this is the face before contour, bronzer, blush, highlight. And let me tell you, I'm already looking snatched. So I'm going to do all of that off camera and also apply my lashes. The lashes I'm going to use is my Dodo Lashes in the style D307. I usually never, ever wear these lashes with eyeshadow, but I just felt like it will go with the look. So we, we gonna try some. So yeah, I'm gonna sign off and then sign back on after everything is semi-complete, I guess. Or just, I don't even know.
Now for lipsticks, I'm using my LA Colors liquid lip color in the shade Smashing and mixing it with my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Ashton. Cause we're going nude. I would have definitely went like a nice dark blue, um, but I don't have that, so. And I'm trying to play safe too, I guess. We all complete, we all done. Now it's time to give my final thoughts. So overall, overall, you you see, you, there was no, there was no misconfusion. There, there was no error. Like the foundation is a one packaging yeah but formula eh. <laughs> ah so yeah i really like the foundation the color the match perfect match um everything about it i love it um like i said like if you want to be even more on a budget because 20 dollars is not bad bad for a foundation the two, most expensive foundation i have is uh, my nars natural radiant foundation that one's 50 dollars and that's still, like the best foundation ever like this one will always be my number one because like it just, it just does everything for me so like i don't mind spending money on a foundation that is good that will last me for like what till the till the death of time to, okay till death do us part um so yeah like i said try the elf foundation compare it you already know it's it's the same thing, the same spiel. Like, if I didn't buy that L foundation, I wouldn't even know that it's the dupe. It's the exact dupe of this. So, but other than that, I really like the foundation. I love the concealer. Like, I love the color. I've been looking for this type of color forever. Like, and now I have it. Like, on my everyday looks, I can mix my Too Faced with this color. And it's going to look so bomb. Like... And of course the powder is perfect great for setting like I said I don't know if it's great to set the face I don't personally like to set my face with setting powder blue setting powder um, but for the under the eyes and bro it does it does brighten like th this setting powder I haven't had a setting powder that brightens like this in a hot minute and I really like it um the recent like yellow powder that I got was from makeup revolution and that one's I um I feel like that's that type of um, powder is meant for like any skin tone so it's not really brightening um it's not really brightening it's it's just a regular setting powder it's just a color setting powder um, but this one for uh, medium to tan it really brightens up the skin and for um, dark skins as well if you're just using it under the eyes so that's my overall um, review on it I hope you guys enjoyed it of course so that's that yes so I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a big 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 thumbs up yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow all my social medias they'll be down in the description yo nay I had so much fun doing this review I haven't done a review video in a hot minute and you know everybody and anybody is grabbing this foundation and it's actually a very very good foundation if I do say so myself so yes <laughs> you already know what type of day it is it's your girl Chelsea Afia peace